Hey, I'll get girl coming at you with more movie reviews. This is Death Becomes Her. I have never seen this, and I'm a little sad about that. Just a little, because it wasn't all that I thought it was cracked up to be. But it's not that bad. I'm going to give it a three on my scare meter, because like it's more like a horror comedy, my personal opinion. But, yeah, I just... You see the twists and turns kind of come in and whatnot. It, it's just one of those kind of movies. Anyway, it's got Goldie Hawn and Meryl Streep. And uh, they're supposed to be best friends and whatnot. But Meryl Streep keeps stealing Goldie Hawn's man. Well, this time she steals her uh, fiancé. And Goldie Hawn goes completely off the hook. I mean, completely just woohoo. And... Yeah, Meryl Streep starts aging, so she goes to this lady who has, like, some miracle potion, we'll say. And, yeah, takes it so she can live forever and be beautiful and stay ageless kind of a thing. Well, problem is, she falls down the stairs, breaks her neck. Now she's technically dead, but she's still alive. And Bruce Willis is wigging out. Like, completely wigging out. And then Goldie Hawn comes over, and Meryl Streep is ticked. She realizes it was all a ploy to kill her and whatnot, but she'd already taken the potion. So she blows Goldie away. <laughs> Problem is... Goldie is just as freaking immortal as she is. And this, this this whole big old thing. And I know that seems like a spoiler. But it's not. And it's not really a twist ending. Because like I said. You could really tell it was about to happen. But I mean. It, it's a decent movie. I really liked it. But like I said. Just a three on my scare meter. It's not my favorite movie by any means. But it's definitely a cult classic. I liked it. But y'all let me know what you think about it down in the comments. Let me know if there's anything else y'all want me to review. Give me a like. Give me a subscribe. We will see y'all later.